Hi there, Alaris. It's Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to show you how to install a Verizon LTE XV communicator onto your Vista 21 IP. And as you may know, the 21 IP does have a built in Ethernet communicator, and you can also install the proprietary Vista GSM 4G communicator right onto the board. The Verizon LTE XV communicator, though, is going to let the system connect to the LTE network that Verizon has, which is faster and more reliable than the older 4G network that you can install on the system. Downside to this though is that you're going to lose your Ethernet connection when you install this communicator, so you won't be able to do dual path with this system if you are using the cellular communicator. The upshot though is that the communicator is working on the LTE network, which is super reliable and will provide your system with a solid connection outward to report alarms or to support your Total Connect 2.0. Verizon has also said they're going to be supporting this network for a few years to come, so it is going to be very reliable. And if this does make sense for you to install, this is a perfectly valid and fine upgrade. To do this, though, there's a few things that we have to do. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to power down the system. Then we actually have to move our jumper on the board to the off position, which is going to turn off all of the onboard IP and cellular communication. So you will not be able to use the Ethernet jack. After we do that, we're going to install the communicator, and then we're going to wire it up to the ETB bus, and you're going to be good to go. So first thing is let's power down our system 100%. We have our main power from the AC transformer connected to this uh, LT cable going into our power terminals. So I'm going to unplug that, and I'm also going to unplug our backup battery. As you can see, the system is 100% powered off. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this jumper into the off position, which is the bottom two pins. Next, we're going to take our LTE XV, and we're going to install it on the system. So I'm going to take all of the, the wires that come with it. I'm going to slip them through this punch out. going to sit right there. It also comes with a lock nut that will keep it in place. If you are installing this at home, I do recommend taking a screwdriver or some flat tool and making sure the lock nut securely holds your communicator in place. It's just going to let you avoid any issues that you could have from a loose communicator. Today though, I'm just going to tighten this up with my hand. All right, so our communicator is set and stable. Now I have to attach the wires to the ECP bus. So as you can see, we do already have some wires on our ECP bus. I'm just gonna loosen up these terminals and I'm gonna slip the communicator wires right underneath. What I'm going to do, because we have so many wires under each terminal, I'm just going to slip out the whole bundle and twist them together so I can securely wrap our communicator wires around them. Now everything is powered off so there's no risk at any shock. Just make sure that all your stuff is turned off before you do anything like this. So there's our black bundle. Here's our communicator wire. I'm going to lay this here and twist it around the wires. And now we're sure that we're going to have a good connection on that one. So next, I'm taking the red wires. Just going to place them together. Twist them around. We'll take our red wire from our communicator right here. I'll lay this next to it, twist it around, make sure it's nice and stable. Now, ideally, if you have a pair of pliers, 
or lineman, using a tool will save your fingers and it'll make this process much easier. Just grab it, turn around, and make sure your splice is nice and secure. Next, I have the green bundle. Got my communicator wire right here. Lay it next to it, twist it around. And then I have my yellow bundle as the last bunch of wires. And there's no rush with any of this. Make sure you take your time and that your, your splices are good. Sometimes this will happen where a wire may break off and you have to restrip it. We just re as you can see, we, if that happens, we just restrip the wire, wrap it around, and it's ready to go. So now we'll take our yellow wire, twist off the end, lay it in there, twist it in. Cool. So now when we install this back on our system, we're, we know that our connections are likely going to be just fine. So because our bundles are a little bigger, I'm just going to make sure that my terminals are loose enough so that we can easily slip them under. First, we'll do the black. Then we'll do the red. Then we'll do the green. And then we'll do the yellow. All right. So now our connections are all made up and ready to power the system back up. First thing I'm going to do is plug in the backup battery. and then plug in the system. And as you can see, our communicator has some activity lights, it's powering up. And the next step would be to get this activated with your alarm company so that the system can start to communicate using the Verizon LTE XV. If you do have any questions about how to install the communicator, the Vista 21 IP or alarm systems in general, Feel free to give us a call at 888-818-7728. Send us an email to support at alarmgrid.com or head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe. And if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching and have a great day.